project which demonstrate how you can build your own CI CD pipeline uh, which take your application as soon as you make a commit which take your application build it lint it uh, push it on the docker create AWS infrastructure uh, create a kubernetes cluster and then deploy your application on that cluster and this all happens in automated fashion so as soon as you make a commit this whole pipeline should run so let's see if we how how we can make it work so I have my application and then let's see if I can make a change okay and if I make a push So as soon as I make this push, my whole CI CD pipeline should run. Let's see. So the push is done. If I go to my Jenkins box, scan the repository, and so the pipeline has automatically started. Now if I go and if I see the first thing it is doing is it's checking after installing the packages can the packages be installed properly and if I check my Jenkins job so this is my Jenkins job simple npm install and if I see it, it tried to install all the packages there's no problem then it tried to lint all the files and find no problem then it build the docker image and if I go take a look it's building the docker image then it is pushing the docker image and if I say take a look it is pushing the docker image now if I go uh, so this is this step is basically so I don't end up accumulating too many docker images on my local system so any images that has been created should be removed and now it's building an AWS infrastructure so if I go and check my instance on AWS it's building this AWS uh, uh, instance which is pending right now let's go and check so it has launched my EC2 instance and it's waiting to uh, finish all the software installation and SSH to come up and so this might take a little bit time So it has uh, created the EC2 instance and it is initializing. Let me show you how does it do it. For this step, for the Docker step, I'm just building the Docker images and pushing them. And uh, of course I need to give the registry credential which is installed inside my Jenkins uh, box. For AWS infrastructure, I'm running an Ansible playbook uh, which launches this particular playbook. Let's go and take a look. So it is basically just creating a T2 medium uh, instance and installing the Python, uh, giving some tags and waiting for SSH to come. So let's see if it has, it is still waiting, no, it, it is done. So once it is completed this task, it needs to store this EC2 instance uh, host name inside my inventory file. Um, and then it start to configure my Kubernetes cluster on that particular inventory. So if you notice, I, I saved my file, uh, I saved my host inside my inventory file with uh, the IP. And then the next command is basically configuring EC2 and if I go and take a look here I'm basically installing docker, installing minikube, installing kubectl and then starting a cluster. If I go and see it is doing all these tasks and starting a cluster again this task may take a little bit more time so let's wait
and once we completed this then I will the final script is uh, running my uh, application on the Kubernetes so I'm basically just running a Kubernetes deployment a service and then port forwarding that in So it has uh, completed this task. Uh, it, so it has in, installed the Minikube and it has uh, installed the kubectl and all these things. Now the final step is basically deploying our app. So it is. It has installed the gate. It has deploy and apply the service. We're just waiting for pods to come up and then it will open up our uh, and then it will do the port forwarding and then we should be able to access our app. Let's see. What is our IP? So if I copy this and go right now, I'm not able to access it. And once I am done, now it takes a little bit more time. So just wait it. So this project is available on GitHub. You can go ahead and, or we can directly go from here. And you can check it and if you want to run this uh, locally then you have to set up your own Jenkins uh, own Jenkins box and you have to configure Jenkins with AWS and SSH credential right and then uh, most of the task should run you just need to configure this EC2 instance and just uh, maybe your security group and some uh, properties here and other than that it should run directly let's see it has completed yes it has completed let's see if it has deployed there we go our hello demo deployment so the, so if you see it has completed a lot of tasks on this pipeline right we just um, uh, made a change we just made a change um, demo deployment and then it went through the whole process of ci and then cd and it's amazing how much we can automate with this. Now, if it is a real application, you probably want to deploy two version and you call them green and blue. So when you deploy a new version, you always have uh, option to go back to the old version and you can change that URL into your uh, domain server route 53 and it should point to the new deployment. Thank you very much for watching.